Chapter 11 Transport in Plants Points to Remember Translocation, Transport of Substances in Plants over Longer Distances Through the Vascular Tissue, Xylem and Phloem, is called translocation. Means of Transport The transport of material into and out of the cells is carried out by a number of methods. These are diffusion, vacillated diffusion, and active transport. Diffusion Diffusion occurs from region of higher concentration to region of lower concentration across the permeable membrane. It is passive and slow process. No energy expenditure takes place. Facilitated diffusion, the diffusion of hydrophilic substances along the concentration gradient through fixed membrane transport protein without involving energy expenditure is called facilitated diffusion. For this the membrane possess aquaporins and ion channels. No energy is utilized in this process. Methods of facilitated diffusion support antiport uniport, two molecules cross the, two molecules move in, single molecule moves across membrane in the same direction opposite direction at the membrane independent at the same time, same time, of other molecules. Active transport, active transport is carried by the movable carrier proteins, pumps, of membrane. Active transport uses energy to pump molecules against a concentration gradient from a low concentration to high concentration, uphill transport. It is faster than passive transport. Water potential, the chemical potential of water is called water potential. It is denoted by psi w, psi, and measured in pascals, pa. The water potential of a cell is affected by solute potential, psi s, and pressure potential, psi p. Psi w equals psi s plus psi p water potential of pure water at standard temperature which is not under any pressure is taken to be zero, by convention. Osmosis, osmosis is movement of solvent or water molecules from the region of their higher diffusion pressure or free energy to the region of their lower diffusion pressure or free energy across a semi-permeable membrane. Water molecules move from higher water potential to lower water potential until equilibrium is reached. Plasmolysis, process of shrinkage of protoplasm in a cell due to exosmosis in hypertonic solution. Kasparian strip, it is the tangential as well as radial walls of endodermal cells having the deposition of water impermeable suberin. Imbibition, Imbibition is the phenomenon of adsorption of water or any other liquid by the solid particles of a substance without forming a solution. Some examples of imbibition, I, if a dry piece of wood is placed in water, it swells and increases in its volume. 2. If dry gum or pieces of agar agar are placed in water, they swell and their volume increases. 3. When seeds are placed in water they swell up. Mass flow. Mass flow is the movement of substances, water, minerals, and food, in bulk from one point to another as a result of pressure differences between two points. Transport of water in plants, water is absorbed by root hairs, then water moves up to xylem by two pathways apoplast and symplast pathway. The transport of water to the tops of trees occurs through xylem vessels. The forces of adhesion and cohesion maintain a thin and unbroken columns of water in the capillaries of xylem vessels through which it traves upward. Water is mainly pulled by transpiration from leaves. Cohesion tension transpiration pull model, root pressure, a hydrostatic pressure existing in roots which pushes the water up in xylem vessels. Gatation, the water loss in its liquid phase at night and early morning through special openings of vein near the tip of leaves. Transpiration, the loss of water through stomata of leaves and other aerial parts of plants in form of water vapor. Factors affecting transpiration, temperature, light, humidity, wind speed, number, and distribution of stomata, water status of plant. Uptake and transport of mineral nutrients, ions are absorbed by the roots by passive and active transport. The active uptake of ions require ATP energy. Specific proteins in membranes of root hair cells actively pump ions from the soil into the cytoplasm of epidermal cells and then xylem. The further transport of ions to all parts of the plant is carried through the transpiration stream. The pressure or mass flow hypothesis, 
the glucose is prepared at the source by the process of photosynthesis and is converted to sucrose, sugar. This sugar is then moved into sieve tube cells by active transport. It produces hypertonic condition in phloem. Water in the adjacent xylem moves into phloem by osmosis. Due to osmotic, turgor, pressure, the phloem sap moves to the areas of lower pressure. At the sink, osmotic pressure is decreased. The incoming sugar is actively transported out of the phloem and removed as complex carbohydrates, sucrose. As the sugar is removed, the osmotic pressure decreases, the water moves out of the phloem and returns to the xylem. T-R-A-N-S-P-I-R-A-T Questions Very short answer questions, one mark each, one. Which part of the root is related with the absorption of water? 2. What makes the raisins to swell up when kept in water? 3. Define water potential. 4. What will happen to water potential when a solute is added to water? 5. A plant cell when kept in a solution got plasmolist. What was the nature of the solution? 6. Mention two ways of absorption of water in plants. 7. Which form of sugar is transported through phloem? 8. Give one example of imbibition. 9. A flowering plant is planted in an earthen pot and irrigated. Urea is added to make the plant grow faster, but after some time the plant dies. Give its possible reason. 10. Why is energy required to develop root pressure? Short answer questions 2, 2 marks each, 11. A well-watered potted herbaceous plant shows wilting in the afternoon of a dry sunny day. Give reason. 12. Do different species of plants growing in the same soil show the same rate of transpiration of a particular time? Justify your answer. 13. What is Kasparian strip? Write its significance in plants. 14. Xylem transport is unidirectional and phloem transport bidirectional. Why? 15. How is transpiration different from gatation? Give two points. Short answer questions I, three marks each. 16. When any dry plant material or seeds are kept in water, they swell up. A. Name the phenomenon involved in this change. B. Define this phenomenon. C. Give two conditions essential for the phenomenon to occur. 17. Plants show temporary and permanent wilting. Differentiate between the two. Do any of them indicate the water status of the soil? 18. What is mycorrhiza? How is the mycorrhizal association helpful in absorption of water and minerals in plants? 19. Observe the given figure and give the answers of the following, a. Identify the process occurring in, i, 2, and, 3. b. Differentiate between the process 2 and 3. c. How many types of aquaporins form the water channels in the cell membrane? 20. Give the scientific term for the following statements slash processes, a. Movement of water in roots through the cell wall exclusively. b. The positive hydrostatic pressure developed inside the cell or cell wall. c. A solution having relatively less concentration. d. Loss of water vapor from the aerial parts of the plants in the form of water vapor. e. Movement of a molecule across a membrane independent of other molecule. F. Water loss in its liquid phase through the special openings of veins near the tip of leaves of many herbaceous plants. Long answer questions, 5 marks each, 21. Minerals are present in the soil in sufficient amount. Do plants need to adjust the types of solutes that reach the xylem? Which molecules help to adjust this? How do plants regulate the type and quantity of solutes that reach xylem? 22. How do plants absorb water? Explain transpiration pull model in this regard. 23. A. Describe the pressure flow hypothesis of translocation of sugar in plants. B. Explain the mechanism of closing and opening of stomata. Answers very short answers, 1 mark, 1. Root hairs. 2. Endosmoses. 3. Water potential is the potential energy of water. 4. Water potential will decrease. 5. Hypertonic. 
6 apoplast and simplost pathway 7 sucrose 8 swelling of seed when put in water slash moist soil 9 due to exosmosis 10 every activity requires energy root pressure develops due to activity to living cell short answers to 2 marks 11 during noon the rate of transpiration becomes higher than the rate of water absorption by plant it causes loss of turgidity or wilting 12 rate of transpiration is not same because transpiration is affected by numbers and distribution of stomata 13 refer page 185 14 ref 15 transpiration gatation i loss of water by a plant in form i the loss of liquid droplets from a vapors the plant 2 occurs through the general 2 occurs at the margins and the surface of leaves stomata and tips of the leaves the young stems short answers i 3 marks 16 a imbibition b refer to points to remember c condition necessary to imbibition i water potential gradient between the absorbent and the liquid imbibed 2 affinity between the adsorbent and the liquid 17 temporary wilting permanent wilting i plant recovers from temporary i automatic recovery is not possible wilting after some time it may recover if water is provided soon 2 much damage is not caused 2 much damage is caused 3 it commonly occurs during 3 it occurs throughout day and midday only night when wilting is permanent water present in soil is largely in unavailable form the soil contains 10 to 15 percent water depending upon its texture 18 refer page 185 insert textbook of biology for class 11 19 a i uniport 2 antiport 3 symport b refer points to remember c eight types of aquaporins 20 a apoplast pathway b turgor pressure c hypotonic d transpiration e uniport f gatation long answers 5 marks 21 refer page 189 insert textbook of biology for class